Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to counter-argue Eusebius McKaiser's book, Run, Racist, Run. Okay, he said that he believes that um, anti-black racism is just as much of a problem in South Africa as it was during apartheid. He said he didn't have statistics to back it up, but it was in his gut feeling. Okay, here were some statistics that Ansel Roots from Afri Forum pointed out when he was on a ENCA debate with um, Andile Muktama. Um and Ernst Roots pointed out that only 33.1% of South Africans nowadays um, have experienced racism from somebody of a different color. And about 79% of black South Africans said they've never been discriminated against by a white South African. Um, and also, only 3.9% of black South Africans believe that racism is the most important issue in South Africa right now. Which most black people, just like most South Africans, believe that there are higher priorities that South Africa needs to deal with, like the corruption, the uh, unemployment problem, and the high crime problem. And these are statistics that Aaron Suits pointed out. Well, Eusebius didn't have the statistics with him in the book Run, Racist, Run. Okay? Um, that's, that's number one. And now, Eusebius did point out in his book that Black people are capable of racism. Eusebius does not subscribe to the mythical belief that blacks can't be racist, but out of all the pages in the book, basically just one to two pages was devoted to that, um, which I thought was um, was a tragedy. And and also, um, also with the book, he talks about uh, in the book that... Um, that whites who are not racist ought to know what to do in the fight against racism without without black people telling them. Here's the thing, okay? That is racist in itself because if that's the case, then we, as white people, sh uh, should be able to think that blacks ought to know what to do to speak out against anti-white bias, which means publicly speak out against the farmers, and we shouldn't have to tell them to, to do that, which... I don't subscribe to that belief. Sometimes when you're not of a different race or a different color, you can't always understand what the other thinks, and sometimes there needs to be... Um, sometimes you have to tell them how things, uh, how things are with your culture. That's just human nature. And it doesn't mean you're being rude about it or anything. Um, and then also, I mean, you just see it's just so much biased uh, in that so much biased in that book. Um, also, he talks about that Max Duprez may be racist because Max Duprez says that um, people like Steve Hoffmeyer and um, Dan Root uh, give Afrikaners a bad name. Well, there were a lot of Afrikaners in the fight against uh, apartheid. And one that I have mentioned in previous videos uh, was um, Adolf Milan. And Adolf Milan was definitely a fighter against apartheid, and he was an Afrikaner. And Eusebius does not make any mention of that in his book. So, um, I recommend that you read the books, see and decide for yourself, but this is one reason that I, um, decided to make a video to counter-argue it. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.